In Joomla 3, uh, we have a very nice feature called Install from Web. It's actually a kind of app store. It's not activated by default. I'm going to activate it now, and I'm trying to, I'm going to try to install Sobi Pro that way, and hope that it will work. So, uh, Sobi Pro is a little bit advanced component, and it takes a little bit time. Okay. Oh, we have it. Great. It starts with the uh, with the checking the requirements, yeah. and if everything is okay. Orange is okay, but if it's red, some thumb of this point, it, it's not so good. But in this case, it's yeah. okay to run so before. Yeah. Okay, so we're going to click on next, and it will take us to Sobi Pro. And this is the Sobi Pro main um, administration panel. By default, when we are going to install Sobi Pro, we have already one, uh, one business directory uh, section uh, created and configured. But uh, we are going to show you today. Hmm? Oh. <laughs> we, show, we want to show you today um, on the example of a small book directory how to create different fields in Sobi Pro. Fields um, are like NCCK have different fields from image, input box, checkbox, and, and we will show you how this works in Sobi Pro now. Okay. So the first thing is we are going to create new section. We have a, a toolbar and we are going to click right to, in the right to, uh, top corner, action, add new. If you uh, was on the talk yesterday, you knew that Sobi Pro can have different directories on one Joomla installation, and each of them are called section. So we are creating now a new directory. Okay. And save it. <clears throat> so if you have any questions during the presentation, just go ahead and ask. ask. <laughs> okay, next. So we have uh, we have a section created. It takes after a section has been created, it takes a. a uh, immediately to, to, to the configuration of the section, but we are not going to change anything now. We are going to main page of all entries and categories, and we are going simply to add. Um, no, I'm uh, sorry, I'm uh, wrong. Here, I'm going to add some categories. That's the first what you need to do. So we pro always needs categories, at least one. Okay, let's call the first one science. We will now add some categories which we need for, for a, a book directory. So these are the types of, of the books, that's the science books. Now we want to add travel books. Mm. Travel book. So travel books. It's very small, I don't see much. Um, travel. We leave all the other um, settings uh, on default. You can add a, another image or an image at all. Or I'm changing all. images. You change the image? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay. Okay. But you can also add a description uh, special for that category. What's the next? But we do not have uh, that Children. much time. So we are going fast. You can edit each category later on. Children, children. Children books, we have a symbol for children. Yeah, that's a funny. It's a nice children. Okay. And the last one, that's history books. Mm, history. Yeah, maybe. Oh, sorry. Oh, it's okay. <laughs> history time. So save and exit. Okay. Now, now we want you to show the output of Sobi Pro, which we have now. Therefore, we need a menu item yeah. in Joomla. Uh, I, I, I skipped one uh, one uh, category. Uh -huh, it's not okay. Uh, no, no, never mind. Sorry. Um, so we are going to add a new menu menu point to uh, to Sobi Pro. In Joomla, so we're going to select select Sobi Pro, Sobi Pro functionality, and then we can we have to choose a section. We are going to choose the book section, yeah, and then 
we are going to select a functionality. So we have different functionality like at entry form, link to category, listing by date, list to an entry, and, and so on. We are going to create a um, link, link to, to a section. section. Which is, by the way, always necessary to have that manual link. Even if you do not want to show it, you can uh, create that manual link in the so-called hidden menu, which is not visible, but this menu uh, must have a published item to the section view of Sobeto. Okay, and save and close. So we have books. Uh, I'm going to set it as the main, main uh, menu link. By the way, when, if you are looking for a good possibility to test uh, Joomla, uh, it's, it's Bitnami, it's a called Bitnami, you have complete installation with Joomla at all, so you don't need to do anything more. You can install it at uh, the, the Mac, Mac OS X and Linux and Windows, so it's very nice to testing. To testing. So, so that's okay. uh, the output we already have when we created our book section and the three categories we made. Okay. Section two, category two. And if you click on, on a category. In category, what is the entry? Category mm. If you click on a category, you will see nothing at the moment. Yeah. I'm, I'm, yeah. Okay. I'm, I'm, go, I'm going to travel books, for example, and you will see nothing because there's, there are no oh, entries, entries, no subcategories, of course. It's a little bit slow. Okay. No, nothing there because we do not have entries. No subcategories. So now we go to the front end input form. We should some. Uh, yeah. Okay. Okay. Uh, so we are going to the at entry okay. form. Okay. So we're going back to the sub pro now. Uh, to this particular section called books. And in section configuration, we have field manager. And uh, the very first thing I'm going to do is change the name field to title, because uh, a book has title and not really a name, right? Okay. So in the normally, usually in the in the configuration screen of uh, each field, you have some option like, for example, uh, sorry, uh, what label is alias? Uh, this uh, information needed for some uh, output definition later. Uh, you can add suffix. You can you can, for example, uh, decide that this field should have unique data. So if you, for example, have a um, I don't know people director, maybe not the good the, yeah okay people are director and you required email from them, you can uh, set it that way that only one email is used only once. The name field is uh, of the type input box, yeah. and these are the set all the settings you have for input box. You can add further input boxes which are no name fields and. For input box, you need to click on input. Yeah. On input. These are the input options which you can set like. for add or editing data in this field. And the few options, it is the same for all fields. The few options, these are the options for the output, the visibility of the data in the output screen. Details view or in the category view. Uh, and here you decide where you want to see the data. We have uh, so we both has two two views. That's the details view, which presents all information about an entry, and it has the V card view. We call it V card or V card view, which is a, a short information on the category. For all entries you have. Yeah. And you can also hide particular field because, for example, uh, we have the base in many cases makes sense that you, for example, require uh, an email address from user, but you don't not want to display this email address on your website. So we can hide it, but you need this information maybe. So, but the title field we want to see, of course, in, in the V card view and <coughs> also on the details. Mm -hmm. 
nicht viel. Okay. And we can all, we have also some search settings. We can say it, if this field is searchable at all, which priority this field in search had, and how it should be searched. For example, through the input box only, or it should be displayed like select list. Uh, we can also define range search that makes sense for Numbers. let's say car car director where you have prices or when you have where you have a uh, yeah uh, production date and so on. Okay, and I say image. A category. We are going to add a new field for an image. The system. We call this uh, image. <laughs> So this all it doesn't doesn't matter. Uh, no label. Uh, in pure, ich meine it's input. That's the image now, mm -hmm. Yeah, uh, input options. Okay, so we are going to. Uh, yeah, we can decide, for example, how how big, how maximal, uh, how what, what the what the size of the image should be. I mean, in kilobytes, and we can decide what the size of the displayed image, what the size of the displayed thumbnails, and, and we can also um, decide where this, how, what should be the name of the, of the file, because it's very important for CEO. Uh, I saw it many times that when you are looking, for example, in Google for, let's say, Joomla, then it will find only images that contain Joomla in the name. So it makes sense to keep the original name all, always in the, in, the, um, in the image itself. Okay, and yeah, we are going to set it will be displayed in both in Powcut and in no the details view. Don't want, yeah, need a label we don't need for a label. image. Yeah. And what shows should be displayed where? Um, okay. Yeah. Float image right. Okay. And some left. That's a short configuration. I don't know, usually, you don't need to do many things. There are many configuration options in it. Uh, let's add another field. What is the next one? Auto, okay. Auto, okay, we are going to. You want to have a field with category? Yes. Yeah, this is a. By categories. By categories. To s you want to search by categories? Uh, no, field. Field. I'm, 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 to be honest, I'm a little bit. I have the directory of cars. Yeah. With her field, cars name. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And the directory of uh, real estate. Yeah. Uh, type of, uh, of real estate. And yeah. Is that two, two, two different sections? sections. Yes. Yeah. And you have two different sets. Of fields. Each section has its own set of fields. Yeah. Yeah. Was that your question? Yes. <laughs> okay, cool. <laughs> so we are going to uh, add a field about the auto, auto name. Awesome. Auto. Okay. Some special setting in Available this? Available for both. Yeah, okay. Uh, so. Both. Both. So, yes. Method select list. Oh yeah, we can we can s set the search, search to, to, to uh, single, single select, select list. Yeah. Jetzt sollten wir Daten eingeben, Content. Die zwei schon mal. Yeah. Ein Eintrag machen und den immer weiter vollhalten. Okay. Machen. So we can go back to the at entry form in the front end, and we see we have now few few more fields. Fields, yeah. Um, I'm a little lazy, so I'm going to steal some data from from Amazon. Um, yeah, let's say here, Joomla programming book. I think it's a good one. Uh, this is, of course, science. Uh, it's, yeah, <laughs> let's steal some pictures. <laughs> uh, save image to download. Okay, this is good. Okay, downloads. Yeah, it's a nice one. As you can see, this this file is automatically uploaded, yes. and we uh, we built it in because in the previous version we didn't have it, but people wanted to create gallery with Sobi Pro, so they had, had like about 10, 10 uh, images, images files, yeah, 
And at that moment where you're trying to upload it, you're most likely going to hit the, the maximum of upload file size, size. And therefore, we decide to create an AJAX uh, upload form so each, each uh, file is uh, uploaded separately and you most likely not going to hit the, the limit then. Okay. Need the author name. The author name. Who is the author? Ah, Mark Dexter. Uh, we have to. And Louis Landry. We know them. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody know them. <laughs> okay. Okay, so we so, can save it. Save it now. So, and it says the entry has been saved, but it's not published at the moment. It's because we said by, by default it's Defo so default the, yeah, settings. that every, every, every time a user, visitor or even a registered user is going to add an entry in the front end, or the, yeah, in the front end, then it, this entry has to be approved by administrator. You can change this in the ACL, yeah. but default set, the default setting is yeah, that it has to be approved. Yeah. So as you can see, we still don't have any entries here, but I'm going to entries and categories on all entries, and I'm simply going to approve it now, uh, because I'm logged as administrator, right? Yeah, and... And it's additionally published? Yeah. And we can go to the front end, and now, and now we have the entry in the directory. It doesn't look very well at the moment, because we don't have many that data there still. So. Some yeah. And we are going now to yeah. add the next. Okay, so let's let's add some few more fields. Additional public publishing here. Okay, publish. Let's say publishing here. Uh, yeah. So. Uh, yeah, it's an input box. And input box uh, has also uh, a very nice feature called filter. And we can, for example, set we have some predefined filter. It's most likely re regular, regular expression, so you can define your own filter. And uh, it makes sense, for example, in publishing here that we are going to use also de only decimal value because in here we we only have digits, right? So we can set uh, this should contain only uh, decimal value. But you can also create a filter. Uh, that uh, confirms that you only enter dates, yeah. so not, uh, not no numbers, but only dates. So yeah. there has the format, you can specify the format of the date, and you can specify such a filter for it. Thank you. So we have, it's a, yeah. These are the uh, default filters which are already included in, in Sobipo, and but I'm, extendable. Yeah. I'm going to show you um, short in the uh, section, no, sorry, um, menu, in the, yeah, okay. Um, we have set on input filters like, like this, and basically you can, you can all, always add your own filter by clicking at the add new. You have to de define the regular expression for it. But um, I think, yeah, it's actually not really that hard. Uh, excuse me, uh, we can't manage our type. Uh, uh, we need uh, some uh, only uh, type type. Because, yeah. Uh, yes, only. You can, you can define it. Yes. Yeah. Define the type. Yeah. We, we can, we can do, you can define by yourself, but actually this one is already defined. It's called alphanumeric. Yeah, okay. Yeah, and it's set only oh, okay. in, yeah, okay. You yourself and you make your, uh, your Yeah. Your okay. So back to the um, yeah. manager. Next time we're going to add another one. Yes, yeah. man. Okay. So um, let's add our radio bay button field which will contain the information about if this book have cover, uh, hard cover or uh, normal cover. cover. So we have to def define, in this field, we have to define some option set. Uh, hard, hard, hard. Hard, hard cover and paper print. Okay. Hard cover. Okay. 
Ooh, it's Thank you. There's paper that has this. Oops. <laughs> okay. Yes. Anything else? Okay. Safe. Exit. Ein Fernsehfächer ist nicht ein. Das ist eine inzwischen zweite Woche. Warum kann man keine Editieren? Ich bin nie hingelockt gewesen. Okay, ja, we, we can also edit all entries in the administration area as well, of course. Um, I'm going to all entries and then, because we added some fields, we can extend now uh, the information. What I'm going to show you, for example, when I add something like 90, 90, 90, and uh, let's say some string, then, okay. Please enter numeric va value in the publishing here, because it was not numeric value and we said it has to be, right? Um, so, some, uh, this is paper. And now we can save it. Now it worked, because we have, yes. yeah. Okay, anything else? What's next? Mm, number of pages. Text area, man. Short description, okay. Description. We are going, of course, add some description. Um, so we need a uh, text area. Um, hmm? Here you see all the fields, so the pro has included by default. These are nine, 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 I think. And you can, with our applications, which have a lot of fields, add, uh, extend this list by a calendar field, a download field, download field, and several other fields. Geomap field. Uh, okay, what a short description. Short description. I should know. Okay. Um, we are going to say that the short description will be will be shown in in both, right? Uh, in FAUCAD and in details view. Um, you can decide in this this kind of field. You can decide if we are going to use um, Visific editor. Um, I think it makes sense. You can also set if it, the HTML code is allowed or not, and you can limit the number of characters entered in this in this uh, in this field. Uh, where is it? Number of characters. <coughs> oh, here, max length. Let's say 250 characters. Save. No was Long description. Okay, we win. Oh, sorry. Uh, so, uh, Can't duplicate. Yeah, we are going to, we have, we need a, a also more detailed description. I am going to duplicate this also. You can uh, duplicate a Long field. description, yeah. And you can simply say, save as new. Save as new. Yeah. Okay. Oh, but in this case, we are um, no going limitation. to no limitation. Hello? Uh, yeah, no limitation. Okay, save and exit. Long description, short description. Anything else? Yeah. Oh, by the way, we can we can of course set each of those fields as required field. Field. It means that the user adding entry from the uh, from whatever he has to fill this data or not. And uh, the name I think field <coughs> is by default always yeah. a required field, but the name is always required. Yeah. And I'm we going can also charge um, the author of an entry for adding data in a field. And in a book directory, it does not make really sense. But if you have a business director and you uh, say if you want um, that the author can enter his address, his site address. Or some web, long web, description, for example. Or long description, or web address. You can say, OK, charge me 10 euros. Then you can enter that field. And this is also handled by Sobiflo. Okay, so I'm going to send some of those uh, fields as required. And let's go back to the all entries. We are going to add some new data because yeah. we have some new fields as well. Um, okay, so. What are we here? Okay, I'm going to, to, to borrow some description. Yes. <laughs> Yeah, we have some 
long description. <laughs> I hope Amazon will forgive me. <laughs> okay. Uh, so, um, of course, as as we saw, we set the limit of the short description to 250 uh, characters, but our short description at 400. So we have to short it now. And uh, say, yeah, uh, um, this sentence doesn't make much sense. Oh, now. Uh, Still too long. You can manage that. You can manage that. Uh, the size of this. Yeah, you can. You can. The yeah, we, you we, can. we just entered the value. Uh, yeah. Two hundred. Yeah. Two hundred. No, yeah. two hundred. Two hundred. Yeah, no, no matter. Doesn't matter. Okay. It's like Twitter. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it makes sense, but especially when you are going to do, to do some really nice design in the front end, uh, in the in the, the category view, and you don't want yes. that people uh, yes. entering yes. too much data. There. Yeah. Yes. So yeah. It's a. It's, 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 yeah. 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 It's okay in the details view because in this. A uh, few only this one entry is shown, so it's okay if the description is long. <laughs> okay, I think um, we actually, yeah, we could of course uh, add some uh, additional fields, but uh, I think it's going to be boring to see how I'm adding to a new field. So, um, so let's go back to the category. Um, uh, no, sorry, it doesn't have it with yeah, <laughs> science. Okay, so it, how it looks now? Now, uh, this complete. Uh, is is uh, um, it's the details view and this doesn't really looks very good because I forget to switch the long description to be visible in oh, the details yeah. View. So let's let's change this. Uh, no, yeah, it doesn't make sense. So oh, we're going to details. details view. Okay. Now it's look better. Shorter <laughs> it's shorter. Yeah. Uh, for is example. It where all all entries in this case all all books are shown yeah therefore it has to be short yeah so i see for example uh, here two things i don't like the first is, is the short description label it doesn't and it doesn't make any sense it doesn't it, it's not really needed there right and the auto may we, okay, okay the auto we can, we can see. and also i think that we could uh, have the image a little bit smaller um, Oh, oh, on the right side, even yes. better. Yes. So let's let's uh, start with the uh, short description. We don't want to have uh, any label because it doesn't look very good. Uh, so we switch the label to off. And the second thing was uh, we want to um, just into um, where is it? Thumbnail setting. Oh, sorry, this is entry few data. Entry few. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Show label. No, it's okay. Uh, float thumbnails to right. Right, right. right. Yeah. So, and back. Looks much better. Yes, it's yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 You can do this, yeah, of course. Yeah, it's, it's so, it's a very short uh, action how you can create a completely featured, featured uh, business director, uh, sorry, new business director, book director with Joomla, uh, with Joomla and Sobi Pro. Um, what do we have uh, additionally? Really nice thing, and it's very important. You ask about it, I think. That is the search functionality. Uh, okay, sorry. So we have the search, uh, and the search is one of the most important things in Sobi Pro. So, what? Did I click that? Yeah. Okay. Yes, it's clear. It's the default search mask. You can, of course, uh, you can, of course, do in the this the, uh, in Sobi Pro at all. Whatever you want, you can you can style it using the templates. You can also style this uh, this uh, um, search mask. By default, we are doing it that way that all these extended uh, fields are hidden here. Yeah. You can choose if a field is uh, searched by the input box. That means. You have to enter data it, the yeah. data in this field, or you can choose if it is searched by a select oh, yeah. list, for example, oh. and and all these other which are not in the in the in, in the in our standard input field are in the extended search. Yeah. Excuse me. Uh, we can uh, make a download. Download. Yes, download. Uh, yeah. Download. Yeah, we have download, download field. Yeah. You can download it. The only one. 
Not in the search, but no, yeah, no, but no, it is. No, no, no. The only one thing we. Do. Sorry, I can, I can do a search by field, for example, by, uh, by specific. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Okay. So, yeah, we we can we can, uh, for can example, the, let's say uh, co co comparable to your uh, old uh, will be the publishing year, right? We can search the publishing here to be such a Yeah, yeah. No, yes, no. You, yeah, you could choose it in the screen here. No, okay. Search, so it's, it's called the search method. You choose the input field only. That's the field input field on, on the top, or you can select. So it's now you have publishing here as well. And for example, can we can we uh, manage this uh, this search advances? For example, uh, I uh, I want to make. Uh, uh, to the internet, uh, like uh, uh, make your price between this. Yeah, yes, 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 yes. <laughs> yeah, uh, it's called range set. So, yeah. especially in this kind of fields, you can, for example, here yeah. um, range set values. Yeah. So, you can define a list, like, for example, 1900, uh, 1900, I don't know, um, five, and, and so on. So, you can, yeah. you can say it, and, and then you have in the, in the select. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. Let's. Do a small, uh, small example. Yes. Okay. Yeah. But this is not. Hatte, that this is gespeichert. Sorry. Uh, um. Oh, sorry. Range search. I have to switch to range search. My fault. So. So now you can ha say it from. Yes. To. Yeah. <laughs> hmm? Uh, not yet. We are working on it. Uh, yeah, it will be. Yet. Yeah, yeah. I know, but it's really it's important. For this. Yeah, many people are asking about. It. So we have. Uh, we did some tests with Sidegrounds. Um, we have a good friends, let's say, with Sidegrounds guys. And uh, Daniel Kanchev is the one of the main supporter. Um, he helped us a little bit to to create a really good cache in Sidegrounds. And they were testing on their server. Regular user account, so be pro with 100,000 100, entries, and it works. So there is actually no limitation. On the left side, you see several folders. These are according the different sections of the front view of SobiPro. And you have several um, XSL files for all the different views. You can change each piece of view of output view in the front end in Sobi Pro for your own needs. Yeah. And also the CSS file, that's a CSS folder. Yeah. Uh, CSS. CSS, sorry. Uh, yeah. CSS, CSS files. You see the default CSS where you can change yes. your yeah. CSS preferences. Okay. Okay, you have some details for Oh, de details, sorry. I didn't show details for right. Stop the category for you. <laughs> mm, oh, let's search for our book. Oh, book found. Book. <laughs> okay. And by so clicking on the name, you go to, to go the details. This detail field, which has the long description. So, so this is very raw, this is very uh, undesigned output. But as you can see, it's actually very easy to do this. And you can do a lot with CSS, and you can do even more with the XSLT itself, and you can do really, really great things. I'm, I'm really proud about uh, the events that uh, events Joomla site I don't uh, show you yesterday. So the complete event Joomla website is created with Sobi Pro. Uh, it's a little bit slow connection, so I'm really sorry about it. Um, the details view we just saw is uh, the template is made by a loop. So all the fields we created are output uh, in the order we have it uh, in the fields manager. And you ha don't have to, to add some code snippet for the fields in the template. If you want to have your own order, 
some fields left, some right, and those things, it's not longer possible to use the loop. Then you can change it, remove the loop, and add each field separately exactly where you want to have it in the output.